You mentioned the sanya, aggregate of perception, yeah. as um, making a mark so that the next time when you run into the same feeling of the same person, for instance, that you remember, mm. where, where are those marks are stored? In our, in our person. <laughs> Actually, uh, we, we do not say that they are stored because it may imply uh, permanency. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think actually uh, these they are stored. But uh, our explanation may be uh, these uh, memories also are impermanent and so one memory disappears and then in its place another memory arises. And so there is continuity of this memory. Not, not one memory uh, <coughs> lasting for a long time, but one memory it disappears, but there's another memory. Mm -hmm. so, so there is continuation of uh, remembering. Just as we cannot say uh, where karma is stored, although there is the karma and so it gives results when uh, circumstances are favorable. So that even the karma is, is based somewhere, we don't know. But when it's uh, in the favor condition that the karma comes down as a result. Ka so not, not karma comes down, but the results the appear. Result down. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a karma is stored somewhere. When you done something, <laughs> the karma is, 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 is flying somewhere, <laughs> you don't know. But when it's a favor condition, it comes down as a result. <laughs> you know, Kankama is Chitana, right? Yeah. So, since it is Chitana, it has only three, three, three uh, stages of existence, arising, uh, continuation, disappearance. Uh -huh. So after arising, it disappears. Uh -huh. So, uh, it is nowhere. <laughs> but it, 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 it said that it leaves potential, so ability to give results in our con continuity. It, it may be some, something like, uh, like I said, say, the, the, some, some potential uh, which changes with moments, but still there is continuity of this potential. So when the, the circumstances are favorable, the, 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 uh, the, it pops up as a result. I don't think that the, when the Buddha time is, no one asks, uh, it's very hard to explain. Mm. Maybe he can explain to people. Who oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Can I, can I uh, contribute something? Oh, yes, please. It may not be exactly the, the comparison, but look at the water yeah. under the condition of the sun and the vapor, yeah, evaporates. The water doesn't contain anything. The, uh, the, 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 the vapor already goes up out of the water. The water doesn't contain anything, you see. Then another condition met the vapor turn into the rain. Then suppose it fall on the ocean again. Mm. Then the ocean receives the result. But the ocean doesn't, doesn't contain anything of the vapor in order for that to happen. So you cannot say, in order for the karma happen to you, in you had to have something for that to happen, so that you will see the karma. See, in Mahayana, they uh, indicate that there is an eighth consciousness, which is the Alaya. Alaya Vinyana. Mm -hmm. And these things, the marks, the seeds of goodness, the seeds of evil, mm. seeds of memory, everything is, is contained in that, mm -hmm. uh, in that consciousness. But in uh, Abhidhamma, in, uh, in Hinayana, there is no, no, no alaya. Right, yeah. Yes. So, uh, so there, there is no, no alaya vinyana taught in, in Abhidhamma. But it then may mean maybe the same thing. Uh, not permanent, but take, take, uh, taken as though it is permanent as though it, 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 it lasts for a long period of time. But everything we see, say, we, 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 thought, we think to be lasting, right? 
uh, did this bell is the same as it was yesterday. So it seems to be lasting. But in reality, in the ultimate reality, mm. the particles or molecules in this cup is always changing. Right. So in one sense, it, it, it is permanent because it is the same as it was yesterday. But in, in another sense or in the ultimate sense, it is impermanent because it's always changing. <laughs> so I'm still not uh, not clear about uh, where those things are stored in our in our human person. Uh, yeah, you know, that someday, uh, given the the right conditions, they arise. Yeah. So where are they stored? Uh, <laughs> I feel that, 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 that is uh, difficult to explain. So. In, in, in the book it is said, in our continuity, so that means in, in the um, ongoing uh, rising and disappearing of our mental, say, mental, mental state. I think that it is one, one mental state, uh, when it dies, it, it imparts something to the successive mental state, something like that. So the the succeeding mental state uh, gets some something of the potential from the preceding mental state, and that potential also is not 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 a uh, permanent permanent state, but it still it it it, is, it itself is all impermanent. But going from one one moment to another. Can I contribute something? Mm. <laughs> Suppose we the ball, this ball roll, mm. rolls, and hit another ball, mm. the force continues, but mm. this ball already stopped, so that we cannot say contain. Mm. That means continuity. So we we don't have to have a contain. Because the assumption is we have to contain something, that's why the question continues to mm-hmm. be asked. Yeah. But we can be say that we don't have to start with that assumption. So. Transport. Yeah, that, that's the point. Yeah, transference from one, one moment to another. It seems to me that the karma is still going up like a, a shape. The shape is going to the, with the man. And in any time in the lifetime or the next life, if a viable condition happens, they pop up to that person, but then it happens to the eye. Because it's always full of him all the time. Because they have to pay back karma. In case if you can escape by the karma, otherwise it's on after all the time. Yeah. Maybe it, it, is, it is not, not explainable. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, by by so, by people <laughs> like us. <laughs> I think the Buddha says so somewhere in the sutra that one of the four uncomprehensible things. Yeah. Come on, we Yeah. That's what he mentioned. That's right. Yeah. If I'm not wrong, he said that one of the four uncomprehensible. That's things. right. And uh, it, it is said atintia, so it's unthinkable, something like that, but uncomprehensible. Yeah. <laughs> or be beyond our uh, understanding. We will understand those things when we get enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Um, under mental factors, mm. there's a category called particulars. How are these? Why are these called particulars? I. Particulars, because they now the first seven arise with every type of consciousness, mm-hmm. but these seven arise with only some types of consciousness, not not with all types of consciousness. Mm-hmm. So that is why they are called particulars or pertaining us. Uh, for example, uh, number eight arises with the 55 types of consciousness only, 
out of 121. And number nine arises with 66 only out of 121. And so they, they, they arise with this uh, only with some, some type of consciousness, but not with all types of consciousness. So that is why they are called in Pali Pakinaka. Number 1 to number 13 are called common to others, Anyasamana and Pali. So they, they, are, uh, they arise uh, with, both with Akusala and Kusala. They are not confined to Kusala only or Akusala only. So they are common to uh, almost all types of Chaitas. But uh, the third group, Akusala, right? Yeah. They arise only with with Akusala and wholesome Chaita. And then the beautiful 25 uh, arise only with Kusala, uh, Vipaka and Kiriya, not with Akusala. But these 13 can arise with both Kusala, and, uh, Akusala, uh, Vipaka and Kiriya. The first 13? Yes, yeah. Now, uh, common to others, so the, the, the name common to others is a little, a little uh, strange. Uh, let me see. When, see, when somebody is with me, I suppose they, you, you, you are you, your father's son. Then, when you are with me, you are, you are come on to him or you are connected with him as a son. And when you are with you, you are connected to me as a student. Something like that. So you are called an Anyasamana. You are called come on to others. When you are with me, you are come on to your father. And when you are with your father, you are come on to me. You are, you are related to me as a big teacher and student. Mm-hmm. And that, and that's why they are called Anyasamana, common to others. Mm-hmm. The first part is. Mm-hmm. So when, when they arise with Kusala, then did they have some, some relation with Akusala? No, not at that time, but at another time. When they arise with Akusala, uh, they have uh, relation with Kusala. Or they can have, they can arise with Kusala at another time. I have a question. On the, uh, the uh, material properties, the last page, mm. and the causes, mm. and you put like, uh, cause by karma and uh, consciousness, mm. And this material body can be caused by consciousness, right? Yes. It implies that if we have good consciousness, then maybe our body, the, the, the waveform, formation, <coughs> component maybe change, maybe changing. Yeah. Therefore, it's possible or it happens that some people practice meditation and all their chronic disease mm-hmm. yeah. cure. Yeah. Yes. Is that that? that is, is it? Yes. Yeah. I, I always explain that way. The healing, healing during meditation. Now, uh, good consciousness, happy consciousness, consciousness mm, which is free from mental defilement can produce good material properties. The bad consciousness can produce bad material properties and good good uh, mental uh, state can produce good good material properties. So when you practice meditation, most of the time your mind is free from mental defilements, and so your mind is uh, mostly pure. And so the the material properties it produces must be a good material properties. And when these material, good material properties multiply uh, through the practice of 
uh, meditation for a long time, then they can fight with the diseased material property in the inner body, which are bad material property. So what, what we call disease is just the <coughs> bad material properties. So the good material properties fight with bad material properties and and they sometimes they win, sometimes they they may not. <laughs> so when they win, then that is what we call a healing. So I think healing is possible. And healings do occur to to meditation. I mean, meditators and during meditation. Mm-hmm. I have a quick question. Can you hand out uh, a summary of uh, the manual of uh, Abhidha? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to more about the, the, the first the first aggregate, uh, please read chapter 6 of the manual of Abhidha. The first one is chapter 6? Yes. So I think that you should give everyone of us a manual of Abhidhamma. <laughs> 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 no, he has a lot of books. No, 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 not now. Not now? Uh, no, about four or five left. Four or five left? Mm. So I have a poor lottery. I have one more. I have one already. <laughs> but all the rest have a poor lottery. Do you have a four or five? Mm. 